Good morning and welcome to this morning's reflection. I am so glad that we could spend this time together. And this morning we start by reading from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verses 16 to 19. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in your midst? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person, for God's temple is sacred, and you together are that temple. Do not deceive yourselves. If any of you think you are wise by the standards of this age, you should become fools, so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of the world is foolishness in God's sight. As it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And Eddie Askew continues to write. Behind the carved oak pulpit in the old church, I noticed a mark on the worn wall. At first glance, I thought it was just a random roughness, a shadow on the stone. But then I realized It was the outline of a cross. It must have hung there for years, and when taken down, it left a mark on the wall. As individual Christians, we leave a mark. Most of us lead relatively unremarkable lives. Hmm, Actually, I'm not so sure of that. When you get to know people, you find few who are ordinary. No one is exactly like another. Each is remarkable in their individual experience. Each of us has something of value to give. But we lead unspectacular lives, rarely producing headlines in the newspaper. Yet our presence in the world, our faithful performance of the little acts of daily living, makes its mark. There are times when we feel useless. We cannot stop the steamroller of world events without getting flattened. No one listens to the thin sound of our protest. But your living shall not be in vain, as the song puts it. We make our mark, and however small it is, it is our mark. And the world will never be quite the same again because of it. God grant the mark we leave is the mark of the cross. Lord, we find it hard to believe it matters the little mark that we make on the world. We are so caught up in the things that we cannot control. We can't even understand the problem half the time. We feel lost, swallowed up, our efforts useless. If we stand out in the storm, waving our little leaf of protest, it is quickly whipped away, wind blighted, seared, and nothing seems to change. At times we think we hear an echo of unpleasant laughter far away. We get the feeling that there is nothing we can do and not much point in trying. Yet in the quiet, we still feel that inner sense, which we can only say is you, urging us on, telling us however small we are or weak, you care for what we do, reminding us so gently that however small a mark we make, it is ours and yours, and telling us to do the little thing in front of us today. We may not see its cosmic breadth or its deep significance, it sounds pompous anyway, but in the faithful living out and quiet affirmation of this day's work, lies worth and joy, and on some 
wall a mark is made, a mark of love shaped like a cross. Amen.